Okay, so day three, and this is our last full day of exploring because we'll be leaving tomorrow, but this is the outfit for today. It is a little bit warmer, which is good. So the top is from Shein, the pants from Uniqlo, and then shoes from Target. Earrings also from Shein. Necklace, I want to say Forever 21, but... Here we are, super excited. We're gonna go get some coffee. Let's go. So we came to Spanky's, which is on the river walk here. And um, my friend recommended this hot chicken and cheese sandwich. So that's what we're getting. I heard it's apparently really, really good and it sounds like all things that we like, so easy decision. So our food just came. We got the hot chicken and cheese as recommended and it looks so good. It's a pita and inside there's like peppers and chicken and cheese obviously and mushrooms. And then we got the spuds which are potatoes that are like deep fried. Comes with a little pickle. Tyler's already digging in. <laughs> and he also got the mango wheat ale. What? What if I wanted that? <laughs> so we're passing by these buildings and Tyler pointed out that they look like Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom. Like old colonial times. So we are currently at, what is the name of it? Uh, something cemetery. Uh, a popular cemetery here. Tyler's idea, of course. <laughs> but um, they just have a bunch of really old and dated tombstones and really like intricate, elaborate ones too that are huge. So, kind of interesting to see. Not gonna lie, I was a little nervous, but you know, I respect the spirits. I feel like that woman from TikTok who cleans gravestones should come out here because a lot of them are kind of hard to read. I'll have to insert her name. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it's so satisfying to see her do her work. The other thing this reminds me of is the Vampire Diaries because of course it starts with Elena writing in her diary in a graveyard. Okay, so we were gonna come here to this Leopold's ice cream. I've heard tons of great things, but there is such a long line, it stretches pretty far back, and I don't think we want to wait, and it's pretty hot outside, but there she is. Uh, so we just saw one of these Savannah tour trams go by, and what did she say, Tyler? She said, y'all like ice cream, and everybody went, yeah. She said, you like it enough to wait in that long line, and everybody said, no. <laughs> I honestly love ice cream like a lot, but I'm not really convinced so yeah we came we saw it and now we're gonna go so we just got back from walking around can you tell i look like a mess kind of hot out but um we were gonna go look in some shops ended up just going to h&m because i don't know i just know i like their stuff and i feel like a lot of the boutiques and stuff like boutiques um they will charge you a lot and it's stuff that i can find elsewhere for a little bit less um that and i got some stuff from zara the other day that just cannot fit me right so i'm gonna have to return that so i made up for it here at h&m so i'm gonna actually try them on now while we're just kind of like relaxing in the room and see if there's anything i need to return so i can just do that while i'm here since it's so close to our hotel so that's the plan well we chilled in the room for a bit and then we went out and about again our mission was to find some ice cream um, one place that we were headed to actually wasn't open I don't know if they're just closed permanently or just closed early but um, that didn't work out we were gonna go to the other really popular ice cream place here but Google said it was very busy still the one that had the line that I showed you earlier so um, we just went and returned one thing that didn't fit me that well from um, H&M and then we just decided to go and get some pizzas and bring them back to the room and this hotel also gives complimentary sodas so we grabbed one of those on our way back up so here's what we have. Tyler got a build your own pizza. 
How is it? It's good. Good. And then he got a Coke, I got a Sprite, and I got like a classic margarita pizza. Let's dig in. you got Tyler it's power glowing power. It comes with a glow cube <laughs> it's actually pretty good it's vodka and Red Bull essentially but there you have it I got two lightning so it's kind of dark but we just got the luminescence comes with a glow cube as well Tyler finished his over there but his is what sold me because I tried it and this drink has gin and Prosecco and lots of lemon flavor. I know there's lemongrass syrup and so it's very citrusy, but it tastes so good. Okay, so we are getting ready to leave today. We packed up all our stuff. We're about to check out and I remembered to show you guys before I left my little outfit today. So it is actually cold outside. I have this sweater throw thing from Target. I love the color of it. Um, the undershirt is from J. Crew, and Tyler actually got it for me. Um, leggings were a gift, so I'm not really sure. And then the shoes also from Target. Earrings were also a gift, but here we are. We are going to get our stuff in the cart and then stop somewhere for breakfast before we leave. And then the journey home. insane with how busy it is you'd think we're going to a theme park so we are getting gas Tyler says they have like 120 pumps although this one says it's number 220 so I don't know I don't know man this place is huge though it is insanely busy in here so I might not get too many clips but here are some Bucky merchandise with their famous beaver logo Tyler wants the beer cup he also grabbed a shirt and we got some beaver nuggets, which are like caramel covered corn pops. Yeah. <laughs> so they have this iced coffee bar or regular coffee, I guess. <laughs> and you can kind of make your own, pump your own flavors, choose your creamer. Okay, so talk about being overstimulated. It was insanely busy. There's just people everywhere, stuff everywhere. Um, so it's kind of hard to film, hence why I only got a couple clips. But Tyler did end up grabbing, what is that? The chopped brisket. The chopped brisket sandwich. They have a bunch of those like freshly made um, different types of meats and stuff too. Let us know what you think. Mmm. It's good? Mm-hmm. Well seasoned. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, and then I decided to be basic and get some Dippin' Dots. Because <laughs> I've been wanting ice cream pretty much this whole trip and since it didn't work out for us when we were in Georgia, you know, Dippin' Dots is just a good go-to. You can never go wrong, so. What's that? 